Seth Godin has written thousands of blog posts, and one of the most famous little pithy statements that he says is, we need you to lead. We need to stop waiting and talk about how to effectively lead. Hey, it's Scott Beebe with Business On Purpose. Take just about five to seven minutes when you get a chance. Go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy, and you can go take the business owner healthy assessment. Super helpful to be able to understand the health of your business. After its founding, the Roman Catholic Church began to do what many long-standing, influential, and powerful organizations do. Uh, Amid a massive amount of value, there was a slow digression into a leadership model of just do what we say and don't ask questions. Stand up, kneel down, sin, confess, pay, rinse, and repeat. Now, as I mentioned, while there was certainly massive value that the early Catholic Church brought the global community from the 6th century up through the Renaissance, and that massive value still continues in mass today, there's also some clear abuses of power. And as Renaissance art, mass publishing, and the globalization of empire building were merging, it provided the fertile soil of louder and more informed and thoughtful voices to emerge and begin asking questions. In 1507, Martin Luther became a Catholic priest. And over the next 13 years, Luther would wrestle with the internal realities of conviction, theology, and the written word to come to different conclusions than what was publicly being professed. Sending his list of 95 propositions to the Archbishop of Mainz on October 31st, 1517, Luther decided to lead. Over 500 years later, an American man holding Luther's namesake decided to share his dream and thus offer his commitment to lead. Before the Reformation of Luther and after civil rights of Luther King Jr., women and men around the world have been offered to plant themselves in the fertile, and charged soil of a louder, more informed, and thoughtful voice of leadership. Before Luther, Luther King Jr., and Frank, Sojourner Truth, Churchill, or Marcus Aurelius, before any of the influential culture-turning reformed leaders, there was a person or a group of people in need that they translated into an invitation to lead. There is an invitation to lead standing and right in front of you right now. Standing in front of you is an ideology that requires 95 counter propositions in a thoughtful way. Standing in front of you is a child who needs a dream because their surroundings provide no outlet or opportunity for that which seems trivial. Standing in front of you is a group of people marginalized, put down, underappreciated, taken advantage of, misunderstood, and tired. Or standing in front of you is a job that can either be a lifeless means to a paycheck or a platform for life-giving transformation through every transaction, every piece of production, bookkeeping entry, strategy meeting, and employee onboarding. Standing in front of you is an opportunity to lead. Nobody made Luther think, act, or respond. Nobody made Luther King Jr. organize, speak, or walk. Nobody made Anne Frank coordinate a hiding place against the devil in her father's house. And nobody's going to make you lead. But that doesn't stop you from having the opportunity right in front of you. Robin Jesse Shreve owned Coastal Shores Landscaping. It's understood in the industry that any leadership effort should be focused on the non-field staff, while the field team is tolerated and left to float. The Shreves, though, made a choice that the newest, most unskilled team member would receive the same effort, encouragement, training, accountability, expectations, discipline, swag, perks, and opportunity as the most skilled, knowledgeable team member in the business. Just a couple of weeks ago, they devoted an entire workday to leadership, technical, and soft skills training for their entire team. Every Thursday, they provide technical and what they call Life 101 training to the entire team of over 25 employees. Nobody made Rob and Jesse lead. Instead, they accepted and they implemented. To lead is your decision, and we hope you will.